Hi, my name's Mike Cowan. I'm the founder and um, I guess the originator of uh, Clearview Mirrors. Uh, this morning, um, for the, pur the purpose of this exercise is to show you how we're going to fit our mirrors onto uh, a 100 series cruiser. So I'll just get some tools and everything together for you and uh, we'll get right into it. Okay. You're not going to need any uh, special tools to do this. You don't need a toolkit as elaborate as this. Really, all you need is a, is a few simple hand tools. Right? I've got a ring spinner, ring spanner, an open ender. It's a 10 mil. Okay. I've also got a 10 mil socket. I prefer to use the 10 mil socket and a small one. Don't use a great big long one because you're bound to break something. I've got an 8 mil socket here on a, on a screwdriver end, but. Wherever you can use that, you can use a screwdriver as well. So, a few simple tools. That's a little prizer bar. A flat screwdriver, something like that, will do the job fine. You can get them from a $2 shop for not much money at all, okay? But you'll probably find that most guys that have got a, a vehicle like this, they've got a reasonable tool kit, so you'll probably find that you've got most of the tools to do the job. Okay, um, we're going to start fitting now, so uh, buckle up and uh, oh, and you'll probably need one of them, a ruler, and uh, I'll explain why. Also a little flat screwdriver. Okay. Okay, in the door here we've got eight screws. We've got four down along the bottom of the door here. They're just a Phillips head screwdriver. Similar to that, we've got one, two, three, four there. We've got two more behind the plastic caps. We've got one behind the door latch, and we've also got one in here behind the electrical panel on the door. Okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to start by taking the four bottom ones out of the bottom of the door. Right, it only takes a minute to get them out, and uh, they're usually not all that tight. They don't need to be there. They do their job all right. Once you've got the screws out, put everything that you've got into a little plastic container so you keep everything together and you don't lose anything. Now, these two here, can you zoom in on that, Jake? Okay, they've got plastic caps over them. You need to use a little flat screwdriver like that. right? Try not to dig into the leather here when you're taking the caps out. Okay, so just put a little bit of pressure in there like that and then pop your cap off. Put your cap into, the, into your ice cream container and do the same thing with that one there. There's two screws there, the same as the previous ones. And they simply come out like that. This cap here, just simply put a bit of pressure on it and it will come off. Okay, now I'm going to take this off here. Once again, little flat screwdriver, hold the handle out, put your flat screwdriver between the lock there and that little panel and just give it a little flick out like that and you'll find it'll pop out quite easily. Okay, in behind there's another screw. Take that screw out. Okay, now if you like, if you hit the pause button and then go out and do what I've just done and when you come back we'll go to the next stage. And okay, taking um, this little door latch off here is, is, is probably the, the most difficult part of taking uh, anything off the door at all. Right? If you know how to take it off it's, it's really quite simple. Simply take a flat screwdriver, something like that and then push it into here above your lock, okay? 
and just put a little bit of pressure downwards, you'll see the top of it come away. Hold it with your finger and then do the same thing at the bottom. Put your screwdriver into there and put a little bit of pressure on it and you'll find it'll just come away as easy as that. Quite simple. Okay. Go and uh, hit the pause button now and go out and uh, take that off. And when you come back, I'm going to show you how to take this electric switch off. Okay, I'm assuming that uh, you've got all this off and all the screws and everything are out of your door. Okay, I told you we've got a little ruler here. Okay, I like to use your ruler there as a bit of a prizer. Okay, it just stops you from damaging the, the leather. Right, put your screwdriver underneath this door latch there and then press down. You need to put a little bit of pressure on this. It sounds terrible when it's coming off. It sounds like everything's breaking, but it's really uh, just a spring clip, that's all. And uh, you'll find that if you do it the way I'm showing you, right, you shouldn't get any damage. Okay, see what I mean? Now you've got that out, you'll find here there's a little tag. I don't know whether you can see that clearly or not. Right there. You've got to push that little tag down with your fingernail, holding the wire at the same time. Right, push it simply down, and then just jiggle your cord and everything back and forth like that, and you'll see that the thing will just pop out. It's quite simple. There's the screw number eight that I was telling you about. Okay, so I'll remove that now, being careful not to drop it into the door while you're taking it out. Put your hand underneath it like that so you can catch it. Okay, and you'll find that that's got a 10 mil head on it. It's different to the others, right? And uh, I always make a point of uh, putting that one back first because it's different to the others. Okay, now we're at the stage where we're going to remove some, some pins. Now if you have a look down here, you can see that area there clearly. They're just a plastic pin. And to get them out, all we need to do is just go like that. Push it in, right? Push it in like that. And then you can get your fingernail behind there and just pull the whole thing out. Okay, it's quite simple. There's three of those, two on this end and one down here at the opposite end near the hinge. Okay, there's the three of them. Now the door panel should be free to come off. Taking the door panel off, just pull it out a little bit from the bottom here, hold onto your handle and give it a bit of a tap on the outer edge of the door, like that. Right, and the door panel should come straight off in your hand. Okay, now you think you're pretty right to go and do that, hit the pause button and then when you come back, hit play again. Okay, now, now that you've got the door panel off, it's time to remove your old mirror. You've got some electrical wiring here. Electrical wiring here has a little tag, similar to this one here, right, which you need to push down to dislocate so that you can take your, your plastic plug out. Okay, there's your tag there. Right. Now your mirror is free to be removed from your door. This is where you need your 10mm. I like to use the the little 10 mil socket, but you can use an open ender, right? I don't like using open enders because it's normally round the bolts off. Prefer the ring spanner, it's, it's a whole lot easier. Just give them a, a push up like that, you'll find that they're, they're really not all that tight on the Toyota from standard. Just loosen the, loosen the bolts, okay, and uh, and then you can just simply undo them. Start by taking the two bottom ones completely out first. You'll find that these original Toyota bolts don't have a screwdriver fitting in the head. Okay, they're purely a hex headed bolt. Now at this point you'll find that there's a screw in there as well, 
the screw, you don't need to touch the screw. It's merely there to hold the mirror in place while you put your bolts and everything in. Okay, and to get it out, all you need to do is it's got an elongated hole here. But you just need to break the grip of the mirror from the rubber, lift it up, and you'll find that it'll drop out. And you can see there's a slot in there, okay? And then just take it out through there. Okay, and that's your mirror off. Okay, now fitting our towing mirrors. Right, make sure your rubber and everything is seated correctly around the base here. Reach through your window. It's usually easier if you've got somebody on the other side there to, to help you do it, but if you're an independent, able-bodied man like myself, you should be able to do it quite easily. Now, at this point, I always put the top bolt in first, okay, and then and then the, the two low ones, and I just do them up finger tight to start with. Okay, so I reckon now's probably a good time for you to go out, take your mirror off, and then when you come back, I'm going to show you how to start reassembling it. Okay, hit the... Okay, the bolts that will come with the mirrors have a Phillips head centre on them and also a hex head, right? You'll find also, unlike the original Toyota bolts, that we've put a flat washer and a spring washer onto the bolts as well, just, just to make sure that we've got some added tension. Okay, when you've, when you've fitted all three screws in here, into your, into your mirror, I have to mess around a little bit to align it up. Just do them all up lightly first until you get them all in place. If you can screw them in easily with a screwdriver, you'll know that, that you haven't got them cross-threaded. If you find that they tighten up in the first couple of turns, you'll know you've got a cross in your thread there somewhere. Take them out, redo them again. Don't use a spanner on them to tighten them up until you've got them all the way home. At this point here is where I use a little six inch shift, um, not shifter, don't use a shifter, little six inch ratchet, okay, turning them clockwise, just snip them, starting with the top one first, okay, and then do the bottom ones. Now, at this point, I like to go around and just check the rubber the rubber sealing around the door properly it all looks nice which it does okay and at this point we're going to connect the electrics up which is once again is just a, a simple push-in fit okay and now turn the ignition on right Make sure that your electrics are working correctly. Out, in, up, and down. You should actually check that before you take your existing mirror off to make sure that your electric mirrors are working prior to you putting ours on. If you find that they're not working before you take the mirror off, right, you need to go and see an auto electrician and get something done about it, more than likely a fuse or something. Okay, from this point now we're locked up and we're nice and tied up here. Our electrics are in, we're going to put the door panel back on. Simple procedure, opposite to what we did before. Okay, grab your electrics through your door handle here. Okay, lift that up, push that over on over the top of your door here. And then seat it in down here around your mirror first. Right? Make sure that you're into your window track there and just simply give it a tap down, and that's it. Okay, pull your electrics out so you can get to it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our 
little plastic clips back in at this point first before we do anything. So looking at these, you need to take those and reverse them back out the other way. So you're going to go like that, just simply push them back. Right? Quite easy to do. Okay, and then grab the head like that and then just pop them back into your locating points here in your door. Okay, push them in, go like that, and it's done. Alright, into there, press, done. Okay, now I like to put the other six screws back in. So you've got two chrome headed bolts in here that go underneath your plastic caps. You'll notice that they're, they're a little bit different to the other ones. Okay, they're fairly clean and tidy. And you're going to need those two plastic caps to go over the top of them. All right. You can just use a Phillips head with them. You don't need to, need to put a... Uh, a socket head on them. You, you can do if that's uh, what you got, but don't over tighten them. They don't need to be terribly tight. <clears throat> okay, you got them there. Push your caps back on and then do your four bottom ones. Okay. Press your pause button and go and do those little jobs there. Okay, where you go. You stop filming. You haven't stopped filming. You're still going. Okay. You guys can press pause if you like. I'm just going to keep adding these screws to the side of the door. Only takes a minute to pop these in. <coughs> okay, we've got all the screws in our door now. <coughs> From here it's uh, quite simple. You've got this screw here. Okay, it's a 10mm one that came out of the centre of the door. I usually put this one in before I do the others, but I buggered up my sequence there, so. But it just goes in there. Try not to drop it into the door, otherwise you're going to have to take your door panel off to get it back out again. Okay, once you got to that point, you can hook your electrics up in there. Right, simple push in. You'll hear it go click and into place. Put this end in first because that goes underneath your panel there. Okay, drop that down like that and then put a little bit of pressure backwards and then just with the edge of your finger, just tap it into place like that. Okay, hit the pause button, go and do that and then come back and hit replay. Okay, this, uh, this little plastic panel that we took out from around the, the door surround here, if you have a look in there you can see it's got a... Uh, a little uh, hook shape on the back of it. It actually goes in there into the door. Okay, fits into there and it locates and that's what holds the front of it in. All right, so what we do is we open the door handle a little bit, slide the thing into there, right, and then we push it back to the right as far as it'll go and then locate that position there into, into the back behind that. Now at this point, you'll have a little bit of tension on here. You need to push that in like that and you'll find your whole panel there is back in place, that won't come off. And it's just simply held in, held on by that screw there, okay, which goes back into there, like so. Once again, you don't need to go mad with your pressure. Okay, and then we've got this spring clip. The spring clip works very similar to that. It's got like a little tag on the front there, a little catch. Right, all we're going to do is we're going to open that up. We're going to pop this in that way first. Okay, hold a bit of pressure on there. Right, and then simply go. That's it. Now, at this point, 
you've only got one thing left to do, and that's to put that catch back on. Okay, it just sit, it simply sits back into the hole, and then just push it in. You're now done. Okay, at this point you're probably ready to hook up your caravan. You've got your van all connected and you decide you're going to go away. Okay, all you need to do is go like that. It's as simple as that. You can adjust your mirrors and everything from inside your cabin. When you finish towing and you've unhooked your van, just push your mirrors back in like that and you're away you go. If you leave your car parked like this out in the street, it's really a good idea, i found, to just fold your mirror in like that, just in case you've got people walking past and they bump your mirror. If you've got somebody that comes through the other side that doesn't see your mirror, your mirror will also fold round that way like that as well. Okay? But that's really your position there. It'll take its own position. It'll stay in like that. And if you slide it out, it will stay out like that as well. Okay? Um, I don't know what else I can tell you. Just go out and do it and enjoy your mirrors. Thanks very much.